Hi there and welcome to our affiliation tutorial video for the season 21-22. This video is aimed at those of you with a bit of experience affiliating before. We're hoping to hit the key bits of information you need to ensure that you can affiliate really quickly, nice and smoothly uh, and get you playing football as soon as possible. So rather than running through all the steps step by step, we're just going to hit the key bits of information that we think you need around common errors, changes, a few misconceptions around affiliation and that will hopefully, like we said, speed up your affiliation um, and make it a really smooth process for everyone. So what we're going to cover, the changes, fees, common errors and a few common misconceptions. So first up, we're hitting changes. Step one of the affiliation process is going to look a lot different to what it previously did. So it now will only ask you to tick a terms and conditions box and say that you agree to it rather than inputting all of your club's information. That information is still really relevant, so we don't want you to miss out on ensuring that is up to date. So you can go to clubs.thefa.com, click on your My Club tab, um, and this is where you can then look to put all your information in. This is really, really important because the FA with their new platforms have a football finder system. So if your details are up to date and correct, your address, contact details, website and so on, and you're willing to make your organisation details public, which can be done at clubs.thefa.com on that My Club tab, click the tick box to allow that to be public. People, so volunteers, potential new players, um, opposition that are looking for your address and venue, if they search for your club through the Football Finder, they will be able to find the relevant information. So I can't uh, I can't uh, put any more importance on that. It's so important that you are updating your information and if you're willing, making your public, uh, making your organisation details public. Really important one. So step one is totally changed. All you'll be required to do in affiliation is tick the box to agree to the FA's terms and conditions. Um, and then you'll save and continue and move on to the next page. You'll have to go into clubs.thefa to do the extra bits around club details. Two teams, one result. This will only apply to junior clubs and junior teams. This season, please affiliate your double teams as only one team rather than two. OK, so rather than having red and blue or team one and two, please just affiliate them as one team and at player registration, you'll be able to add all the players onto that one team. So that will, when we come onto fees in a moment, obviously save you an extra team fee. It will also, when for your personal accident insurance, you'll only need to cover one team rather than two, which I know has been a problem in previous seasons. Please use the suffix double or double team for those teams. So you will need to, if you've already got them set up and they're automatically moving up a year, you'll be able to remove one of those teams and then edit the suffix. So it might have been red or blue or team one or two and just change it to double or double team. So that's hopefully a little bit of saved admin and certainly a little bit of saved money on your affiliation. Multiple clubs affiliating separately. We recommend if you are multiple clubs, so men's, women's, Boys and girls, for example, four separate strands of a club that affiliate separately, we recommend that you affiliate as one club. However, we're not going to force you to do that. You can, if you are uh, affiliating as multiple clubs, you can purchase one public liability insurance policy to cover all parts of the club. I know in previous years that we've, um, if you've affiliated separately, we've made it a requirement that you purchase public liability insurance separately. You can do that now one policy for all parts of the club. This is dependent on a couple of things. Firstly, you are operating all parts of the club of the same constitution. And secondly, that you have the same committee. If you do not have those two things, you are considered separate entities and you will be required to get public liability insurance for different strands of the club. So for context, if you have men's and women's and you affiliate them separately, if there is a totally different committee for those two clubs, you'll need to source public liability insurance for both of those clubs separately. If you don't have operate off the same constitution, same again. But if you do those things, you can affiliate um, them separately, buy a policy on one of those, and that will cover the other strands of the club. If you have a club that are um, split three or four times, it might be worth dropping the county FA an email just to say that we are um, we are only purchasing a policy on that part of the club. Please consider this uh, for the other parts of the club, because if you submit them at separate times, they won't come through together. So we'll have to go searching for it. So that would really help us if you can do that. 
So really important uh, on the public liability. And again, it can be a cash saver for your club if it is appropriate. Club grounds, absolutely huge piece of work for us this year and in previous years and something that sometimes gets forgotten, um, but it's so, so important for everyone in the county um, that we get this bit right on our affiliation because it helps drive funding towards the pitches that need it in the areas that need it. OK, and it's a common um, question we get asked around pitches. How do we improve them? How do we make those park pitches better? How do we develop our facilities? We need this data to enable us to draw funding towards that. So this is crucial. In the early stages of your affiliation, there'll be a club's ground bit. It's important that you add every single ground and facility that your club uses. So not just your main one for playing and main one for training. Add every single facility that your club uses. It's a really straightforward process. You can see the screen grab there to add new ones and to search for new ones. Just please note, you can only tick one main and one training, but please add them all. When you get to your team section of the affiliation, the one where you add and remove teams and team officials, you must select for each team their ground that they are training and playing at. That list will generate from your club ground. So if the club grounds is filled in properly, you can just grab them from there. We will not approve affiliations this year if a team does not have its grounds listed. It will get rejected and it will get pushed back. Um, meaning you're at the, you'll have to resubmit and you will join the back of the queue because we'll do them chronologically. So please ensure every single team has its ground listed. If you do your club grounds bit, it's really simple to go in. Just hit that drop down button there and select which ground they play and train at. Fees, as you're well aware, we had no affiliation fees last year other than paying for your uh, insurance if you purchased it through us. There are fees this year. Pleased to announce though that the club fee will remain as it was, but your team fees have been disca uh, discounted. So they should be £16 per team. That has been discounted to £6. So hopefully um, a bit of a money saver, even though that the fees have returned for this season. You'll be able to make those payments after you've submitted your affiliation to us. If everything's good, we will push it back with the invoice and you can make a payment online. Please note, no cash, no check payments, only payments through the whole game system are accepted. It is a totally safe payment platform um, and it's so much quicker and easier for everyone if you're able to do that. On to common errors. Drops up a lot and it happens after affiliation generally. We'll have a club approach us. Uh, we're a mixed team. It's not allowing me to add, the, uh, add some girls to the team. And it's really simple. If you know it's going to be a mixed team, please make the gender mixed on the team step. So step four, you can see the little drop down box on the screen grab. If you just change it from male to mixed, if it is a mixed team, that will allow you to register both boys and girls moving forward. If it is a totally female team, please put it as female. If it's a totally uh, male team, please put it as male. But if you are having a mixed team, make sure it's got mixed or it won't allow you at player reg time to add any of a gender that's not what the team is has selected. Purchasing your own public liability cover. So you don't have to purchase hours when you're working through affiliation. You can source your own and I know some clubs do it within their welfare, for example, um, but it must have an indemnity of 10 million pounds. If it doesn't, we cannot accept it. It will be rejected and you'll be pushed back. Um, so we'll push it back to you and we'll have to go and source or change your cover to make sure that it's got that 10 million pounds indemnity. That is an FA rule. That is not something that we can ignore. So it will be rejected if you source your own and it doesn't have that 10 million pounds indemnity. It's quite common to see uh, own club source ones come in with a one or three million pound indemnity that doesn't meet the threshold. It will be rejected and there's no uh, grey area there. It will be rejected at source. OK, so you'll have to go and get a new one or increase the cover. Submit an affiliation without your personal accident insurance. This is the most common error we get through and it's very, very time consuming at the county FA end because we're having to check through. It's not there and we're having to push back and contact clubs. Please do not submit it without. It will not be accepted without your personal accident insurance. Other common errors within that are submitting the wrong part of your certificate. So we don't need to see the letter. We need to see how many teams are covered and the policy. So it might say we've got five uh, teams covered and one open age team. 
we need to see that bit. So that is the bit that you upload in the screen grab there. Choose, uh, click choose file, upload the certificate, um, and that will outline your cover. If it's not there, it will be immediately rejected and pushed back. And again, as we've mentioned, you will end up at the back of the queue as we, when you resubmit it, that will be the date that we work towards. So any, we work chronologically, so it will be submitted um, and it will join the back of the queue. So please do not submit them without the personal accident insurance. If you have multiple clubs, but you've got one policy, ideally, if you can upload it to all of them, it makes our life a little bit easier. Failing to add your teams to leagues, please ensure when you're on the team section, every team is input into its league. It hurts you down the line with player registration because you won't be able to register your players because they're not assigned to a league. So something really, really important and time consuming, again, for us to revisit and add teams to leagues. So the system will prompt you this year to say, I have added club to cup, I have added cup to league. Please ensure you've added every team, particularly if you're setting a new team up into the league. It will auto um, carry through the league they were in last year. So you'll only need to make changes if they've changed league. Common misconceptions that again are quite time consuming and provide a bit of frustration for, for you as clubs and for us as County FA. Affiliation submitted, we can play. The answer is no. Just because it is submitted, it does not mean it is complete. It must be reviewed by a County FA staff member. This is the bit that sometimes doesn't we don't make clear enough. We have to physically go in and review it. So it's not a computer system checking it. We go in and review it. And then if it's been submitted and everything's OK, it will be pushed back to you with the invoice. So just because you submitted it, the affiliation is not complete. You'll always be able to keep track of where you're at with the affiliation tab. You can see on this one it says in progress. Uh, it might say submitted. It, uh, it might say submitted an invoice. It might say approved, completed. So you'll know where you're at based on what the tab is saying. Another common misconception with paid or affiliation, it is complete. It is not complete. It must then be approved by a County FA staff member. So we do an initial check when you submit, we push it back for you to pay, and then it must be approved. Common errors that will pop up there are outstanding finance, which we'll come on to in a moment. Also, it will be qualifications. The system will check your qualifications again. So if there's no DBSs or online safeguarding, whatever that may be, it may flag up there. So just because you have paid it, it is not complete. You are not ready to play. And again, monitor what the icon says. You'll know you're complete when your affiliation number is sitting on your whole game system screen. Outstanding finance. We will not approve your affiliation if the club has outstanding finance. I know for some of you that are playing still, you might have the odd caution or something from the weekend prior. We can overlook that if it's appropriate, but if the club have outstanding finances or fees, that will need to be cleared before the affiliation can be approved and that is non-negotiable. If you have problems, please send us as much information as you can and what you need resolving. You'll obviously have our contact numbers if you want to come over the phone, but if you fire an email into support at sheffieldfa.com and you put affiliation in the subject and you start to give us exactly what we need, so fans' names, date of births, team club name so we know what we're looking at and the changes required we get a lot of emails where it says hello i need some help with affiliation can you help yes we can but we want the information it, it, rather than playing a bit of email tennis if you can give us everything we need we can generally make the changes required really quickly if we've got the club and team names the fans names, date of birth for the people that need uh, changing or the teams that need changing and what you need us to do. We can generally make that very quickly for you or we can push your affiliation back to allow you to do things in progress. So please don't ask if we can help. We're always willing to help here at the County FA. Um, but if you give us the information, we can make that happen for you. So that hopefully was a whistle stop tour of affiliation 2122. As I've said, Staff members will be on hand throughout the affiliation period, whether you choose to do it immediately or wait for your season to end. We'll be here all the way across the summer to support you through this process. Support at SheffieldFA.com is our email address. Our contact numbers are situated on our website if you want to talk to someone over the phone. But happy to help all the way through the summer. If you need any support at all, please do get in touch. Thanks a lot and goodbye.